Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 11th Didi Kosumi Festival of Ideas 2018. Thank you very much, Arthur Abad, for that warm welcome. And it's a great privilege and a pleasure to be with all of you today. And it's wonderful to be back in Goa, one of my favorite places in the world. Sometime later, he actually got a place at the school. He was very bright. He did extremely well at school. And after he finished school, he won a scholarship to the London School of Economics. His family was so poor, it took them one year to raise the finance to be able to travel to England, to get the clothes, to be able to study there. He did brilliantly at the LSE, and he joined the Indian Foreign Service. He rose through the ranks of the Indian Foreign Service, became an ambassador, and then he headed the Foreign Service. And then he became the first Dalit president of India, President Narayanan, who I had the privilege of knowing. Now that story, the reason I've told you that story is it shows that anyone can get from anywhere to anywhere in life. And I ask you, have you actually stopped and thought, what is the purpose of your life? And linked to that, how will you measure your life? His motto was fortune favors the bold, fortune favors the brave. This was our first company car. It cost us 295 pounds. It was very battered. And my business partner from Hyderabad, Arjun Reddy and I, we started the business together. We were partners for the first six years. This car needed push, start, push you know, to start it every day. And when you look down, you could see the road through the holes in the floor of the car. And it could carry 15 cases of Cobra beer if you put them on the front seat, back seat, and the boot. And there's one word that I found that successful entrepreneurs, this one word, they have the guts to do it in the first place. Many people have business ideas. How many of them actually give up what they're doing or give up the opportunity? I was a qualified chartered accountant. I had a law degree from Cambridge. I could have worked for any bank investment bank, I could have been a lawyer, I could have been an accountant. My friends were driving around in BMWs working for Goldman Sachs, and I was in that car called Most Aspen. business ideas, you do not have to invent something that did not exist before. More often than not, it is a simple idea. In my case, with Cobra, I didn't like fizzy lagers. I loved English ales, which were smooth. I found English ales were too bitter with food and too heavy. So I created a beer that has the smoothness of a lager, of an ale, and the refreshment of a lager combined, which is a rounded taste that appeals to people from all over the world, and also goes well with all food, including... And this food. word, serendipity. I said it was serendipitous that I'm talking here today on the birthday of my uncle, Kersi Sutharwa, who was governor, lieutenant governor here. Serendipity, I'm chair of the business school at Cambridge, as you were told by Arturo, one of the professors I work with there, Mark Duron, he says, serendipity is seeing what everyone else sees, but thinking what no one else has thought. And at the Harvard Business School in the classroom, one of my fellow classmates gave me the best definition of luck that I've ever heard. Luck is when determination meets opportunity. And I picture it as waves that are going past me in life. If you're determined, you might just catch one of those waves. If you're not determined, those waves will go past you all your life and you'll never catch a wave. And we had a lot of luck in the story of Cobra being introduced to Mysore Breweries, the biggest independent brewers in Bangalore, owned by Mr. Balan, a very close family friend. They had the best brewmaster in India, Dr. Karepa, who was a great nephew of the famous Field Marshal Karepa. He knew everything about brewing. I had this idea. I knew nothing about brewing. And together, we created the Cobra Beer brand from scratch. 
and of course the brand name. They didn't have a suitable brand name for us that succeeded in the UK is Kingfisher, all our other competitors fail. You young boys, you have no money, you have no experience in our industry, you're probably going to fail. If it fails, it's better, it's your brand that fails. So you choose any name you want to. Now look at the luck. If I had been an agent and had one of their brands, I wouldn't be here talking to you. Our most valuable asset is the Cobra Beer brand. Trust. Right at the beginning, I met an industrialist from Bangalore as I was developing Cobra, and he said, young man, you're starting on a journey. Empires are built Cobra is a very on. complex recipe, which has not only malted barley, yeast, water, but has three varieties of hops and maize and rice and wheat that gives it this very smooth taste. We talk about craft beers today. Cobra is an ultimate craft beer. And you have to have a mission. This was my mission from day one, to brew the finest ever Indian beer and make it a global beer brand. It is something that was my mission from day one, and it is my mission today, and I can measure it every single day. Am I the finest ever Indian beer? Ambitiously, I say, you bet I am. And I can keep measuring that. And hopefully this year, fingers crossed, we will cross 100 gold medals. It's always against odds. The beer brands that I was starting against, huge giants, Carlsberg, Stella Artois, Heineken, giant, giant brands, many of them ancient. Stella Artois was founded in the 14th century. Grolsch just celebrated his 400th anniversary. And of course, everyone tells you, don't do it. You don't stand a chance. My own father had become army commander of the Central Army. And when I'd see him, I knew he had no money to support me. But I thought he'd support me morally. What are you doing? All this education. You're becoming an import-export wala. Get a proper job. He became my biggest fan once we succeeded. You have to adapt or die in business. In this journey, there are many, many times when if I hadn't made the right decision, I wouldn't be here talking to you. And born in Bangalore, brewed in Bedford, now Burton-upon-Trent, UK, Belgium, and of course we have three breweries in India, but one with prohibition.